Welcome back. I am Zangi and this is the online edition of Quantbit Solutions. We will pick up from where we left in the last tutorial. Uh, this is the plan that we had drawn. So now we are going to draw the roof. Go to design. And under design tools activate the roof tool. Then change the construction method to complex roof. Uh, yes. And we can start drawing from this point. So we have drawn our roof, we can go to the 3D, 3D view and uh, see how it looks. So this is our roof, but it looks ugly, we need to change some settings. Let's go back to the floor plan <coughs> and select the roof. Go to the settings dialog. Change the thickness of the roof to 150 millimeter, and change the pitch to 22.5 degrees, and the eaves overhang to be offset by 600 millimeter. And click OK. So you can go back to the 3D view and see how it looks. This is better than the first one. I, I, I want us to do a few editing so that this part resembles a, a gable wall end and this other part here. So let's go to the ground floor. And I'm going to use a, um, a line tool so I'll go to document documenting tools and select line and draw this line from from this node here so draw that line extend it and move it to this point So I will, uh, I'm going to pull this node, select, um, select the roof, then there is this option of stretching the horizontal range, click on it, so I'll move it up to this point, and click OK. Now move this other node from this point to this point and click OK. This is how it this is how it looks in 3D. But if you look at it closely, there is a space that is left between the roof and the wall. So we, we, we we are going to fill that space. Let's go back to, to D. I want the roof line to start from this, this point that I have des designated with a, with a black line. So I move all these nodes from here, holding the shift button this point and move this node also 
move the other node okay that's done go back to the 3d view select this wall and the other wall then go to the settings dialog this height up here that is written zero change that to something like uh, 1500 I, I don't know i don't know the exact height so i'm just doing an uh, intelligent guess to see if that is correct then that is how it looks so we are supposed to trim use the trim tool so I will select the roof this is the trim tool trim elements to roof and click click on it and click trim and click outside here so a bit this is how the roof looks like So we have managed to draw a roof, uh, a pitch roof for that matter, and uh, it is very simple. So this is the end of our video. Till next time, keep on practicing.